Yeah, what a big game. Bournemouth and Luton meet at the Vitality tonight in the Premier League after the fixture was abandoned and rearranged following Tom Lockyer's collapse in the field back in December. Whoa. His side are battling to stay up the season, currently three points from safety, but they have a game in hand on Forrest above them in 17th. Speaking ahead of tonight's game, Luton boss Rob Edwards, he sets a massive few weeks for his club. Mm. I think everyone's giving 100%. Um, and I can only talk about ourselves and, and we are going to give it absolutely everything and we can't guarantee results but we can guarantee effort um, we'll, we'll, we'll give it our best to try and be entertaining and try and win football matches and that's our plan we know what the next couple of games mean but we also know that you know if it doesn't go right results wise we're not out of it either you know so we know that as well so um, we can make some real strides or <laughs> But even if we do, we know what we've got then for the next nine games and it's going to be still strapping and, and make sure we're right at it anyway. So um, it's not defining. It's not that. Uh, it's just important, as they all are. Uh, they all are now. Massive. Every yeah. point is massive. Uh, Tom Lockyer will attend the game at Bournemouth tonight to thank medics who saved his life after he suffered a cardiac arrest there. And I am delighted to say a very, very good morning to Tom, who joins us now. Tom, good morning. Tom, good very morning. good morning, mate. Good, mo good morning, Tom. Good morning, gents. How are we? Oh, we're Great good, mate. Forum, Tom, mate. more importantly, how are you? How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Um, yeah, it's been, been quite the uh, couple of months since the first game. But um, yeah, I'm in a good space mentally, physically as well. Probably a um, little bit more um, ounces of fat on me than I'd like being unable to do anything at the minute. But um, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. And I'm looking forward to the game tonight. That's brilliant, Tom. That's great news for everybody here. Um, and you see, you, you, mentally, you're, you're in a good place, which is great news. And obviously, we're all concerned about your health. But looking to the game tonight, <clears throat> I mean, I, first of all, are you going to the game tonight? And if you are, would it not be quite difficult for you to go and attend that place and not have, you know, have obviously thoughts of, of what could have been or, or where you were, flashbacks? Um, yeah, I got, I got um, going down today um, to go and watch the game, which obviously, like you said, it could be a little bit emotional for me. But yeah. I think throughout this whole thing, I've been um, quite numb to the whole thing, to be honest with you. It's been quite weird. I know there's no set way of dealing with anything. And almost in my head, I'm thinking maybe you know this could come back and, and and get me at a later date but um yeah that's probably my only real concern about it i don't think today will bring up any emotions like that i'd like to go there and see the medics who saved my life and allowed me to be here for my daughter um to be born and i know like like i said i've been um a bit numb to the whole thing since but when i had that you know that baby in my hands for the first time when i'm i'm looking down at her going like wow like i'm so lucky i'm here for you um not for myself but like just to be able to be here for you you know i owe these medics everything and um it'd be really nice just to shake their hands and look into their eyes tonight and just tell them thank you Tom, you're going to be a massive inspiration for the team as well. I mean, I'm sure you're going to be around the dressing room areas and, you know, they remember it as well. And I remember at the end of the game when Rob Edwards walked around, every single Bournemouth fan was clapping and, mm. you know, wishing you all the best and, and, and whatever. But, you know, it's it's been a brilliant season for Luton. As I said before in that little break there, I mean, you know, you've given it a real go, haven't you? And Kenilworth Road, I've been there a couple of times this season. The atmosphere is absolutely brilliant. And it's a big, big week for you guys because Bournemouth obviously tonight, and then the big one, Saturday, Forest at home. And, you know, the, the, the fans have played their part as well, haven't they, to, to get you, you having a chance of uh, staying up this season. Yeah, and they were massive in the promotion last year as well. I think what the club's been for over the years since the non-league has is, is really brought the fans and, and the club together and the, and the team, and that's exactly what, what we needed last year and exactly what we need this year. So, yeah, it's a massive week uh, for the club. Everyone knows that no more than, than Rob Edwards, who's obviously let all the lads know exactly how important it is. Um, but like you said earlier, I, I, I could play my part, but for me, I find it quite hard. Like, I don't want to be like a distraction on one hand. And, you know, I feel like maybe I could offer a bit of advice here. So it's trying to find a bit of a balancing act. Will, will you say anything to the boys, Tom? Will you pop in and say hello and mention something to them before the game? Yeah, I'll go and see the boys at the hotel before the game, but then maybe um, leave them to that at, at the um, 
at the stadium. But I mean, it's all if you know if Rob wants me in there, I'll, I'll go in there, of course. But you know, I don't want to. I don't want it to be all about me. You know, at yeah, the end yeah. of the day, yeah. the, the, the boys have still got to go out and and put on a massive display to try yeah. and get three points today because that's the main thing. And you know, both both teams want to have the three point. You know, in a way, the way it's all been handled by Bournemouth. Um, the, from the, since the last game, you know, I wish both teams could have three points tonight. Mm. But um, yeah, they, they, they've been amazing. But like I said, it's um, it's going to be down to the lads now. You know, I don't want to distract them. They've they've still got to go out and, and do the do their day job. Tom, I was going to say to you, mate, in a more light-hearted kind of topic, your manager Rob Edwards, uh, we found out this morning, has been voted the most handsome manager <laughs> in the top flight. Right, which I find frankly unbelievable because I think she should get it all day. Do you think that'll affect uh, Rob? Do you think it might go to his head? <laughs> it might go to his head. Um, I don't think it will. No, he's he's um, he's such a humble guy. It's amazing, and you know I heard that in the um, in the news bulletin earlier. I was going to bring it up actually. That's probably probably the hardest thing for me throughout this whole thing is you know I haven't been able to go in every day and see that beautiful face. So. Um, yeah, no, I don't think I don't think it will go to his head, but um, I think it's fully deserved as well. Tom, Tom, <laughs> Tom, Tom I, I think you've got to it's say, I think you've got to say, mate. Well, well, congratulations are definitely in order. It has to be said that competition ain't fierce. <laughs> <laughs> no more so than myself. <laughs> Tom, tell me, Tom, what are you doing um, physically at the moment? Are you swimming? Or are you? Are you? Are you got to be careful what you? do or are you are you just getting back back to try and get back to normal no that's probably you know after not seeing rob's face that's probably the, the next hardest thing is um you know because i've lived such an active life my whole life to then be able to uh, not be able to do anything at all has been really quite tough and especially because i feel so fine and so normal you know there's no sort of uh limitations from the device i've had or any pain from you know the shock i received it's literally just been once I've once I've come round and felt good, you know that's just been good then uh, mentally as well. Like I've been strong, so I've had a few rounds of golf. Um, that's obviously taken the back foot since the baby's arrived. Um, but yeah, golf is just the main thing at the minute until until the doctors um, give give me the go ahead for any more. Yeah, well, Tom, listen, it's great to talk to you, mate. Brilliant. Yeah, well uh, done, enjoy Tom. the game and keep well, mate. <laughs> Thank you very very much for joining us. Good Thank luck, you. Tom. Cheers, Tom. Cheers, gents. Thank you. You're welcome. There you go. So, Day, interestingly enough, he didn't. Oh. Uh, he didn't say whether he was on nappy duty at all. That it would be fair to him. He <laughs> big call I'm sure he is. I think he was avoiding the nappies. <laughs> but uh, what a uh, shock! You know, I spoke ah, to brilliant. I spoke to Glenn Glenn Hodler a few weeks yeah. ago, and um, you know, Glenn. He was, uh, he was in the <clears throat> studio. Yeah, studio. In the studio. Yeah. Unbelievable. Aussies, but I've got to say that. I mean, Aussies how how heartwarming is that? He sounds great, Tom. Oh, yeah. he, he was looking great there. Well, he's clearly Brilliant. looking after himself, yeah. a bit like myself yeah, after my heart same, operation. I think he's got the <laughs> same strict uh, training schedule that you adhere to, Alan. Every, every, everything in moderation, 9.13. <laughs> Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6am on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.